Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite Mini Neil Tarot. Thanks very much for joining our channel today. It is very much appreciated. I'm going to be doing a reading for Scorpio. Please let me take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make the story fit if it's not your story. Sometimes I do say he or she, sometimes the story might be vice versa. Scorpio, you know, uh, while I was shuffling before off camera, I sensed some sadness around you. And I don't know what the sadness is for. It's like, Scorpio, you're very intuitive and you you can pick up on, uh, on energies and sometimes you need to be careful that it might not be your energy, you know, even though you're feeling sad. But, um... I feel like somebody wants to apologize to you for being promiscuous, for, you know, um, putting themselves first instead of putting you first. Um, it's not a bad thing to put yourself first, but if, it, if it's going to, oh, look at that, wow. If it's going to affect people in, in a bad way, then people need to be a little bit more mindful you know, how they want to be treated. Treat others how you want to be treated. Cards don't want to sit still. Scorpio, all right, we'll do two, three more shuffles. And... Yeah, you feel like that this person is in some sort of toxic behavior where they may have opened up their options and, um, you know, looking for... Um, for something a little bit more, I don't know, shall I say financially stable? You know, like they've put material things before you. Wow, I don't know what's going on today, Scorpio. is really scattered energy going on here it's almost like you're not a hundred percent sure if you want to believe something or not you know like this is what you're feeling you're feeling that this person may be communicating with other people and um, has opened up their options and looking for a brand new beginning um, they could be dealing with an earth sign, a Capricorn, somebody who's might be a little bit wealthy, somebody who is actually younger than them. Judgment is here, and this is you, Scorpio, trying to make a, a decision on, on something. Okay. Well, you know, I'm going to say that a while ago when this person was, was around and they're probably still around is that there was equal give and take given. This person was doing the work, you were giving back the work, okay? Um, they invested in you, you invested in them, okay? Yeah, very nice sexual nature that was between you and lots of love here. And I believe that this person may have been like coming forward, okay? Um... But then something happened and um, yeah, something happened and everything kind of like stopped and they went towards this other person. I actually feel like there's two. There's the, um, the King of Swords and um, there's also a Capricorn. So there's air energy and earth energy that came between you and, and this person. Okay. And I think, you know, things are, were starting to be illuminated here because there was a lot of happiness, a lot of happiness between you and things were moving forward. And there, here we go, the tower moment came in, some truth and clarity, okay, and somebody went in, in a different direction because they thought the grass was greener on the other side. Where does that leave you, Scorpio? Because I feel like that you put in a lot of hard work you're at a crossroad now to what you want to do. You want your happiness. I 
I feel like this person was really, really happy with you, Scorpio, but, you know, all of a sudden, both of you are at a crossroad. And I feel like it's the energy of the other person that you're picking up that something is not right, okay? Um, it's like a, a withdrawal that is, that is happening. There's a, And it's happening slowly, you know? You feel like this withdrawal is happening slowly. You know, and it's a shame, Scorpio, because this is a soulmate connection. This is a twin flame connection, okay? Um, but somebody is mentally tied and trapped to, to something else and or somebody else. And, and on top of that, they've gone and opened up their options because they've actually fallen in love with you. And, you know, and even though they have a lot of feelings for you and everything, all of a sudden they're not sure about you, you know? And why are they not sure? They've pulled back their energy. You know, you kind of feel like this person might be repeating patterns with you. Um, you're thinking about this person, how their energy is always in and out. Okay. They do love you, Scorpio. They do love you, you know. And the problem is they're not offering you any more than what it is now. Okay. Because there is some sort of sneaky behavior going on. Somebody's trying to get away with something. You might be traveling really soon, Scorpio, and this person actually, I just had a bit of an epiphany. Did this person go get a reading on you and the reader told them that you were leaving? Somebody told them that you were leaving. I don't know why I got that. Scorpio, I see this person is watching you. They know that they've put a heavy burden on you. They know they're going to break your heart. They, they actually know. They've brought in an, another person. They know that they're going to break your heart, Scorpio. Somebody's manipulating a situation here. There's a lot of people involved in this, Scorpio. There's a lot of secrets. But you being intuitive, Scorpio, I'm going to say that you you kind of like know, you know that they're communicating with somebody else, you know that somebody else is taking up their time, you know that if they're in a commitment that that's also taking up their time, and you know that there's other people that's pulling them left, right and centre, and they just assume that Scorpio will always be there, Scorpio will always wait for me, okay? But I see he, you here, Scorpio, is that... Um, you're getting ready to make some plans and this this person needs to be careful because i feel like whoever this reader is that's giving them the attention and, and that they do have some sort of spark for them okay and this was told to them on purpose so now they're playing it they're playing it that you're leaving okay i think you're waiting even though like you've got some plans you are waiting and you're just waiting to to let this play out but somebody is actually leaving you know um but yeah because of a third party because somebody else is involved here somebody's offered their cup of love to somebody else wow scorpio this person you're dealing with is an idiot because you are the wish fulfillment okay but uh, on one side of it, it's like they're committed to somebody because of um, it's transactional. You know, they've got stability, they've got a home and everything. And then they've met up with somebody who might be spiritual, but has told them a lie about you. And they're believing it because this spiritual person wants to have a connection with this man. I'm going to say man, okay. But look, you know what? Things are going to move forward. They are dealing with an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, a, a single person, okay? You're in your emotions here, Scorpio, because you feel like something is coming to an end. It's not you that wants to end it, but this person has, has convinced this, this, this partner of yours that you're leaving a situation. They've convinced them because they want them to come to them in their home, okay? Whoever this earth sign person is. 
So this earth sign is spying on you, Scorpio. They, they're trying to hurt you. They want you to, um, to leave this situation. They want you to get out of it. They want you out of the way. I feel like you're having a few sleepless nights here because you don't know what to do. You don't know whether to move forward. You don't know whether to speak up. You don't know whether, you know, you want to... Um, yeah, this this person, this, oh my God, this person that they're dealing with has every intention to separate them from their marriage, separate them from you and have them move in with them. And they're spying on them because look, they're hiding something. They want to be the Mr. and Mrs. here, okay? I think you, you should stay in your Empress energy, Scorpio, okay? Um, but some news is coming in fast. Some You were trying to sort of like wait, but something is coming in very fast. You're going to find out soon. And yet you are feeling left out in the cold in this situation, Scorpio. But I, I see here that somebody is making a choice between two or you're trying to make a decision of whether um, to stay or leave, okay? Um, I do see a lot of grief and loss that is that is happening here, even though there's a victory. But somebody is trying to end a cycle, okay? You, you've got a head over heart decision here to make Scorpio because there is another person that's involved here, okay? We've got air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We've got Virgo, Capricorn and Taurus. And we've got you, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, okay? We also have Leo um, and Aries. But I think you're going to try and bring things into balance, Scorpio, but we've got the death card here and the judgment card here and the grief and sorrow and the will of fortune. Something's coming to an end, Scorpio, and it's not because you want it to come to an end, it's because this other person has now interfered and has put shit into your, you know, this person's head and has definitely, definitely a bit of upheaval that is going on behind your back, Scorpio, okay? You're sensing something. You know something, you're sensing it, okay? You feel like that something is being hidden from you, but you're going to find out, Scorpio, okay? All right. There is a great distress, anger and sorrow, deep sorrow, tears, distress, anger, failures, unhappiness. I love confession that dispels doubts. Disappointment, a woman who is inwardly manipulative, malicious and causes harm with her words and actions. There you go. This woman is after this person. You will shed tears, mental breakdown. If there's positive cards next to this card, this situation will not last long. Well, I don't feel like this card next to it is a positive card, but I'll pull out one more next to it and see what we get there. This is so sad, Scorpio. I feel like you put in a lot of hard work and effort with this person. You never wanted to disrupt their life you always make things easy for them All right, can i have one more card please well you're going to be going through a rebirth okay there is also a young child around this whole situation okay um, the relationship will be shaken due to doubts. You were affected by the evil eye, fights and hurtful words, chaos in the family, storms in friendships, unhappiness in love. Why aren't I getting you anything good here, Scorpio? I don't know who this relates to. It can't be for everybody. It could be a specific, you know, number of views, but... Well, the good thing, well, I, I actually, well, I, what I feel is that the person they're dealing with actually owns property, is quite wealthy and um, is very stable. Somebody's going to apologise to you, Scorpio, though, okay? Um, there is a new love and mutual love with your love, with your lover, love, passion, pure love, 
intense love. Yeah, they they gone out to somebody else, Scorpio. So I'm so sorry. Um, the end of everything, a conclusion with the four cards around it. Uh, negative this card signifies an ending. I don't get anything good around it, Scorpio. I do see that this is somehow going to end. You will receive a message. You will receive unexpected news in the near future. Messages coming in from a distance. Someone arriving and returning from somewhere. That's what I thought, Scorpio. What I'm feeling is that this person that you're dealing with, they feel that they have an opportunity with some, I'm going to say earth or air sign, that they feel that is quite wealthy, possibly younger than them, they communicate them with them right now, but nothing has really eventuated in the sense of sleeping together and things like that, okay? But what I feel happening, Scorpio, is you're not going to stick around. You are going to leave, whether that means to go back home, whether that means to distance yourself from this, from this person completely, but they will soon discover that this person can never be you regardless of how much they owe, okay? They can never be you. The bedroom is not going to be the same, okay? But this person has a way of um, seeing shit and believing that it's gold, okay? And you, you cannot change this person's mind until they see the shit themselves. So until they see it, what they're seeing is gold, okay? But what I do feel, Scorpio, is that they will be back. That's, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling they will be back. Well, the simple fact is that nobody, not even, you know, this person can replace you. Okay, I'm getting a pet. Someone is either um, needs to get a pet or somebody who's got a pet needs to, you know, go to that pet and, and get their energy cleared through that pet. Okay, water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I feel it's you that needs to do that. you got a liar around you. Somebody, you know, otherwise it's another water sign that has lied to your person, okay? Or your person is lying to you. Be careful of someone sneaky. I'm just trying to change the energy. I can go with what I'm feeling. But what I feel is that, you know, that there's going to be some sort of confrontation where a confession is going to be going to be set, Okay. Um, fate, karma, something ending, but something new beginning. I feel like that you are being patient, but it is challenging for you to 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 wait, to just keep waiting all the time, okay? You are being protected. There's somebody in the spirit world that's looking over you. I don't feel like we need the protection, all right? Intimacy, earth sign. What did I tell you? Okay, this person wants to be with your partner. They they take, they want to go out on a date night. They took or they've already been on a date night. Gold digger. If I can get one more. All right. Is there any other star signs? Maybe. Good night. Anything you want to fall out? Doesn't look. Move on. Someone is unavailable and it's over. Scorpio, someone's very narcissistic. They're communicating with somebody else. There is an air sign that's involved. They may be traveling with this air sign. Open your heart, Scorpio. Open your heart. Take a break. Take a break. Open your, your heart and it will attract love. But you need to let go. Somebody... You know, you need to make room for, for your new beginning. Somebody is spying. Oh, I get the up, I get the pregnancy that's around, but I don't feel it's a pregnancy. What I feel like is that this has been going on for a, probably um, nine months or um, something is soon going to reveal itself, okay? You need to pay attention to your intuition, all right? Um, you know... If you're ignoring the red flags that's around you, yeah, there's going to be distance between you and this person, or they're cre already creating some sort of distance. I said it in the beginning. You feel like that the connection is just 
moving away from from each other um but you sense it you sense it scorpio um you know, don't deny your gut feelings you know I, I feel like you're a little bit worried about speaking up to to this person because um they can take advantage of it and just end it but i don't feel like it's the type of person you want to deal with anymore you deserve better you deserve you know a better a better outcome but you know endings are always new beginnings and you know you will you will go through this and you will you will you know make it through okay all right scorpio i wish you all the best and thank you for watching and i'm really sorry that the the reading turned out the way that it did but um you take care of yourself and um yeah let me know in the comments who this relates to because it, it is sad it is very sad all right scorpio i'll see you next time bye for now